and in order of priority, the following are the uh, best and most cost effective methods to kind of acquire customers. Um, let me talk about the non-paid first. The non-paid uh, ones, of course, uh, I talked about earlier as well. It's PR, um, it's SEO, it's social media, it's events, it's one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one conversations with your clients and customers. These are the non-paid and you know uh, non-paid um, uh, activities to acquire your customer. Coming to the paid again, in terms of priority, uh, the number one is uh, uh, guerrilla marketing by taking special permissions, uh, which of course in some way could be paid. Uh, second is uh, your uh, uh, doing search, um, effective search engine marketing. I think that's a, a, a and my only request is do search engine marketing on. Uh, uh, brand and non-branded keywords. So uh, so, so I'll, I'm trying to cover a little bit of analytics here as well. Uh, whenever you're doing a Google or a, any search uh, company's campaign, just uh, make sure that you have divided your campaigns in high amount of analytics and uh, you track how much are you getting paid for, uh, how much are you getting cost per acquisition on your branded keywords. Branded keywords are the keywords which uh, which typically is your company name being searched and then your ad shown. So basically think of it like this, that somebody al already knew about you, He's, he or she searched on Google and then your ad was shown and it got clicked and you get you, you acquired a customer. Now that's a acquisition of a customer from a branded keyword, your own brand keyword. And then is a customer acquisition from a non-branded keyword. Um, which is basically, let's say if uh, you were, um, um, you know, the famous, so you were selling a, uh, a car and golf, US, your, your car is associated with, you know, people who play golf and golf is then becomes like a non-branded keyword. When your ad gets shown up, when somebody writes golf, that's a non-branded keyword. So my, uh, uh, you know, it's easy, it's easy said, but over a period of time, our experience has been that people generally see that as one window. I think people should break up their campaigns into multiple levels of search engine uh, uh, acquisition uh, acquisition of customers through search engine branded non branded uh, display so search is different and display is different so you know just divide don't see uh, just to you know taking a name just don't use uh, see google as one entity that's giving you results break your campaigns into uh, uh, n uh, multiple uh, varieties uh, do as much as creative optimization as you can the second uh, uh, way to acquire your customers most effectively is uh, affiliate marketing because typically affiliate marketing works uh, the, probably the second largest or the second the second best way after Google. Do that. Uh, third, of course, is uh, doing CPA, which is cost per acquisition based marketing. Don't get into buying, uh, you know, as many as uh, clicks or impressions, etc. Hey, say, you know what? This is what I can afford for every customer, and get inventories or get publishers to buy uh, that on a CPA basis. And lastly, of course, display based advertising. One uh, thing which I would want, want to like to warn you is that you may not be profitable on each customer acquisition. So let's say if you're selling something for about 100 rupees and your customer acquisition and you make about uh, net, you make about 20 rupees of that. So you would imagine that, hey, you know what, I'm okay if I spend anywhere between uh, and let's say you want to earn a profit margin about five rupees. Uh, you would want, you're okay if you acquire a customer for 15, but typically that does not happen. You may have to spend for your first customer acquisition, you may have to spend, let's say 20 to 25 rupees as well, uh, which is fine because what it is called is called LTV, lifetime value of a customer. What you should um, look at is that when you've acquired a customer, one single customer, he may not be profitable in the first acquisition. And let's say if you have paid 20 rupees, which is your whole profit uh, for acquiring the first customer. Make sure that you have all the means that he comes back again and he gives you profit in the second one. Because most of the times you may not be able to make profit in the first customer uh, you have acquired. But also make sure that the second, uh, that, that, this, that this, he, he comes and transacts back onto your platform or becomes your customer or pays you money again within three to six months, not more than that, because that is the, the you would know if, uh, if your lifetime value for customer is being proven or not. So there are a lot of free tools now, right now available to monitor your digital marketing, to monitor even offline marketing what you're doing. 
use a lot of coupon codes, lot of trial codes, um, lot of friends and family marketing. But but my my urge and my experience is that track each and every consumer by channel, by creative, by uh, on platforms that are now easily and freely available. Uh, because that's where most of the customer uh, people go wrong and uh, they just see these these acquisitions in a more totality manner